Right, welcome back to our tack and daughters. And so we can see the uh, the 22 magazine is empty. And we're going to show about what we replaced. You've seen the pictures of this, but uh, due to YouTube's regulations and anti-free speech policy, even though they're a they're not a platform or well they're a platform but not a publisher I'll show you what we replaced here so this gun belongs to Mikey at uh, Vance Militia um, the AAM so this is a nylon 77 it is not a um, Tomahawk C or whatever this is this one was made in the mid 70s um, as you can see right here, it does say Nylon 77. And I never much played with these guns or, or did anything with them. Let's see if we do a little Professor Pugh to make that look better. Nope. So the finish, I don't know if you can see here, the finish is starting to come off on it a little bit. But it's uh, the plastic. It's the plastic deal. This is a completely, complete nylon stock. This gun maybe weighs... Was it five or six pounds or something like that in that nature? And um, they came in different colors. They came in like a green color. I can shine it up a little bit. Uh, they come in green, this brown, black with a chrome cover. Uh, they come with 10 round magazines instead of five. Um, I know you could convert some of the 10 to fit these. Uh, some of them have the tubes and the buttstock. Neat gun from Remington. Big, uh, it, it's it's a big uh, gamble on Remington's part, really, from what it is. So um, this gun came non-functional. Trigger did not work. The um, magazine uh, it would not feed correctly when it did fire. So I took it apart, um, cleaned all the uh, carbon fouling up on it. Uh, that was clean that needed to be cleaned that wasn't clean last time when it was taken off It does have a scope rail uh, spot here and uh, Got the little diamond thing in there. So at gun shows I used to walk past these all the time didn't care about them now that I've got to uh, Touch one and repair one it was uh, Now I want one so anyway, it's just a little easy 22 here Um pretty remarkable if you read the story because this is two-piece stock as you can see there's the seam right there and um, for them to come up with this the, the amount of metal parts in it you're talking about the barrel the bolt and the cover here that's it the rest of its plastic uh, it's even got a sit screw to sit screw here holds a barrel block in that holds the, the barrel in probably the easiest thing to clean the damn uh, you just take the screw out pull the part and clean the barrel Clean in front of the bay, uh, you know, no big deal. So the problem was the magazine, other than the crud in the trigger, the magazine wasn't sitting uh, flush with it. So uh, I got another extra plastic piece here because I thought I was going to bend it or break it, but I didn't mar it up. That's why I got a new one. And this is your magazine thing here. And as you can see, this goes like this, okay, and then like so. This is kind of bent. This is the whole, and this was kind of bent. But to get to the screw that holds this down, you got to take the gun apart, and you got to get this off. Well, just in case I broke it, I got a, I got another one for Mike. Or Mikey bought parts here, so you can see the bow in this. And let me show you how the magazine works. And so here's the magazine right here, one of those push pull ones. So you pull it back. And it pulls it up. So this is the magazine guide, and also lo and this locks the magazine in. So there's the magazine. That's how the magazine. Kind of odd looking magazine design. So you take this and you line it up, and then you put it in there. So what happens over time is, I guess, pulling it back or, or jamming it in there will bend this rod. You see how it's bowed. Now I could have probably took that out and hammered it flat, but since the parts was Shipping was less than right, right around 25 bucks for the parts from Numerich. I was like, I'll just go ahead and order new parts. Throw those in a bag for Mikey. And then uh, 
he can enjoy his, I believe it's his grandfather's gun that it was given to him. So this gun is older than he is and almost as old as I am. So it's coming up on 50 year mark here shortly. So now we're gonna go to the range and fire about 50 rounds out of it and see how she does. So uh, stay tuned for the range footage. It should be here next as soon as Victoria puts it in the video. Um, stay around, let me know about your Nylon 66, Nylon 77 or Tomahawk 70C or 10C or wherever the hell it was. Anyway, thanks for watching and now here's the range footage. It holds six, but three. So five, we've shot several magazines. We're shooting at 25 yards. We're shooting the Gila. And right now we've had zero malfunction. And it's shooting pretty good. See why people like these with the tubes. Uh, this gun's made in the mid 70s. We replaced the magazine catch assembly and uh, button release right here. Been doing pretty good so far. thing is is that can only hold five rounds I must say I gotta get one fifty rounds but I think I've shot it ten times right Down to the last 10 rounds. I do a little bit of a muzzle. So we had a little bit of problems there with it feeding. Not because this is a somewhat of a dry lube gun and I might be following the, the safety or following this board. We'll find out here on these last five rounds. Let's look at it. See if it does it again. Please like, watch, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.